The time for electric vehicles is now. First of all, if you like to drive and if you like to have fun with the car, you will get more fun with an electric car than with an internal combustion engine. The car with all electric driving capability can provide no compromises, not only no compromises, but a great driving experience. There is uh, instantaneous torque, so you just can beat any car at the red light. Another reason is, by and large, it is a lot cleaner for the planet to uh, drive an uh, electric vehicle than to drive an internal combustion engine. Even if the electricity is purely generated using coal, because the power plants are so much more efficient due to their large scales than internal combustion engine that everybody's carrying with their own fuel in their own car. You get electric uh, energy from more than one source. You get gasoline from only one source, and the jury's out as to when it runs out or when it becomes depleted, but I think the, the idea of clean energy is something that we all need to embrace. People, as in California, install solar panels on their roof, then they are driving using the sun, and it's hard to beat that. And if it's properly dimensioned, that provides enough energy uh, for you to drive all day long. Uh, and I think driving using the sun is pretty cool. I think there's greater and greater appreciation of needing to be self-sufficient as a country and not relying on you know, imported uh, sources of energy. And we're a growing, a growing world. And so the idea of being emissions-free, reducing our use of petroleum, I think are nothing but good. Some of the challenges for the electric vehicles is to break free from the conception of what a vehicle is. So coming around uh, with the electric vehicles includes you know, educating people about something that they have not been uh, using in the past. So, so we get a lot of questions about how the car drives, how it feels. We get numerous, numerous questions about range. Um, people are concerned that they might get stranded. There are a wide range of charging options to make charging possible. DC fast charging, I think, will become more and more important as we get more pure battery electric vehicles on the road. DC fast charging will offer almost like a filling station for electricity instead of a filling station for gas. There could be a filling station of electricity every 100 miles or so, at which point a driver could pull in uh, get a fast charge, you know, spend that 20 minutes to charge their battery and keep going, and ultimately taking a battery electric vehicle and making it uh, more practical for longer distance. However, we know that most customers in the U.S. commute 40 miles or less per day. So the range of today's battery electric vehicles well surpasses uh, most commuters' needs. The idea of DC fast charging is to now allow for more extended use of that battery electric vehicle. We've had over a hundred years of cars being propelled by internal combustion engines. So, you know, most people know something about that. Most people don't know something about an electric vehicle or a hybrid vehicle. So just over time, the education, and if we could accelerate that education, I think people would understand the broad choices that are available and make the right one for them. I think in the end, the best education will come uh, by the examples that our early customers are setting, who already have the cars and today are already crossing the country and going on long road trips or using the cars for their daily commutes, uh, short or long, and prove every day that this is a great car to have and that there is no issue uh, with having an uh, electric vehicle. So there is a huge education challenge. We're trying to educate the people in terms of how easy and how great it is to drive an electric vehicle. It started with uh, a couple guys, you know, innovating this idea of battery technology, and that quickly escalated into uh, kind of a proof of concept in vehicles that ultimately turned into what people know as the, the Tesla Roadster, which really was the first legitimate long-range sports car electric vehicle. And that really proved that the concept worked. Ultra high performance, much more than anybody thought an electric vehicle uh, could achieve. Tesla decided that the next steps needed to be you know, a more practically usable car 
and that we needed to develop that car ourselves, design, engineering, manufacturing, uh, hence the Model 